In this series of videos, I'm going to share with you how to create your own Elementor widget. What are these widgets that we talk about? When you come to your WordPress plugin section and you install the Elementor page builder and activate it, you get the option of creating a new blank page or editing the particular pages or posts that you've had in the past. So let's say you want to create a new page, Elementor gives you an option with a click of a button for you to actually start editing this particular page. So when Elementor opens up, you have the option of actually dragging and dropping elements inside your website and you can easily change and manipulate these with just the clicks of buttons. For example, I can add another button to my particular page here and I'll be able to change the name of this button and call it button new one and I can just click the center button, I can change the link of where this is going and say this will go to Google and I can change even the size of it from small to extra large or to even medium, large or medium depending on what I really think should be as part of my design of the website. So you have all these options and they're just by the click of a button or by adjusting a few numbers and choosing other options that you have available for you. So how do we get all these widgets inside Elementor? Of course by default you have about 10 free widgets from Elementor that are basic and then you have this whole section that says it is pro. And these are not available for you unless you purchase the pro version of Elementor. Now if you're someone with the skills that can allow you to develop your own widgets, it's a plus for you and that's what I want to share with you in this video series so that you can be able to create your own widgets that do one small item and you don't have to incur maybe costs that are so huge for you to maintain. However, when you go to your plugin section and search for Elementor, you'll be able to see a number of other plugins that have been built this way to extend Elementor which is a plugin. Now you might want to use only one piece of widget from one plugin but you find that it has a whole load of bloat that has been thrown inside that particular plugin and you don't know how to scale it down or just to use one piece and that's going to take a lot of time. In this video tutorials I'll teach you how to make your own widget so that it can work with Elementor and it will be available here in your own section that you can call by your own name. Now of course you can sell these widgets that you've made or you can even open source them for other people to use and to enjoy from your creativity. So for whatever reason you watch this series I hope you enjoy it, I hope you get the best out of it and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.